Let's get hands-on overview of Amazon Bedrock, AWS's powerful platform for working with generative AI models. The first thing you'll want to do is switch your AWS region to US East, Northern Virginia, also known as US East 1. Why? Well, some AI services are only available in certain regions, and choosing US East 1 ensures that you'll have access to everything we need for this hands-on session. So go ahead, set that region, and we're ready to roll. Once your region is set, type Amazon Bedrock into the search bar to go to Amazon Bedrock UI. You might get a quick pop-up. You can just close that, and now we're ready to explore. Now, we're on the overview page. Here it says, Amazon Bedrock supports over 100 foundation models from industry-leading providers and emerging leaders. On the left-hand side, click on Providers. You'll see a list of AI providers. These are companies offering pre-trained foundation models that you can use right away. Right now, you'll see familiar names like AI21 Labs, Amazon, Anthropic, Cohere, Meta, Mistal AI, and Stability AI. This list might grow over time. When you click on a provider, you'll get details about their models. Let's say we click on Amazon's models. You'll see a list of models, and each one has a model card. This is like a quick cheat sheet. It tells you what the model is for, other related information. Before we can actually use these models, we need to enable access. So click on Request Model Access. This will show you all the available models, but you'll notice that most of them aren't enabled yet. The quickest way? Just click Enable All Models. This will request access to every model at once. Super simple. Next, you'll be asked for a few basic details like company name, website, industry. This is just survey information, so you can fill it in quickly. Don't overthink it. Submit that, and within a few minutes, your access should be granted. Some models may take a little longer or show errors. That's okay. As long as you get access to some, you're good to go. A quick note on costs. Before we move on, let's talk money. Enabling models is free, but using them costs money. It's usually a few cents per request, but it can add up depending on how much you use. So just keep that in mind as we experiment. You can always watch and follow along without running the models yourself if you'd prefer to avoid charges. All right, now that you've got model access, let's get hands-on now. Let's click on chat slash text under playgrounds on the left side menu where you can try out different models and find out what each model can do. From the mode, chat is fine to try out which is default. The other option is single prompt that generates single response from a model. Click on select model. Here you can choose a model under Amazon category. Let's pick Amazon Titan G1 Express. For inference, default on demand is good for the tryout. The other option provisioned throughput can be expensive as in this option, you request AWS to allocate resources for the throughput you require in a deployment. An instance profile is used used to pass role information to an EC2 instance. This is used to manage temporary credentials on the EC2 instance. So on-demand option is good for trying out different models here, get a general understanding about using them. Click on apply. On the left side, there are different configuration option that we will cover in another lecture. Type in a prompt. For example, what is Amazon Web Services? And click Run. In a few seconds, you'll get a response, what is Amazon Web Services? Feel free to try other prompts and experiment with different questions. Now, let's try another model like Anthropic's Claude 35 Sonnet V2. Click on Apply. Ask something like, what is AWS? Click Run, and the model will give you a conversational response. What's cool is that you'll also see performance details like latency, how fast the model responded, input and output tokens, which is about how much text was processed. These metrics help you understand how the model is working behind the scenes. Finally, let's generate some images. 
This can be more expensive than text, so use it sparingly. Go to the Image Playground and select Amazon Model Title Image Generator G1 version V2. Default on demand is fine for the inference. Click on Apply. Enter a simple prompt like, Please generate an image for a lion taking rest. Click Run, and you'll see AI-generated images based on your description. You can adjust the settings, like image size, number of images. It's a fun feature, but keep in mind the cost. So, here's what we covered today, setting up Amazon Bedrock and enabling models, exploring model providers, using the chat and image playgrounds to generate content. That's your introductory tour of Amazon Bedrock. Whether you just watched along or got hands-on, I hope this gave you a clear understanding of how to get started with generative AI on AWS. See you in the next one.